find my way back to you. I thought I'm just going to nip into Boots and buy some eye drops because my eyes have been playing up. So I thought I'd buy some dry eyed eye drops. I walk out and spent maybe £70 on stuff that I don't actually need. But if you want to see what I got, then please keep watching. Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. If you're new to our channel, I'm Zelia, she's Aisha. I always wonder do people know like who's who? Because we never do say I'm know? Aisha, I'm Zelia. And... It's really weird because on our intro it says Aisha and Zelia. People you would think that you'd be sat this side. Always sit on this side and Zelia always sits on that side. So yeah. Okay, so we both have been into Boots and Superdrug. I've picked up a couple things from Superdrug. We've both been to Boots mainly. And we thought we'd uh, show you what we picked up. Yeah, so if you're interested to see what we picked up, then please keep watching. One thing that me and Zelia always, always use to take off our makeup, no matter what, we always go back to Garnier Masilla Wall Star. we go back to, we haven't always, had anything yeah. since this. I always use this. I've never used any other cleanser that I like as much as this one. So I've actually got oh, one. I'm diggity. I've actually got one that's um, one size smaller than this, but they've come out with a massive size, which is 700ml, um, and it actually says you can use up to 350 wow. uses. Um, this is massive and it was on offer for £5 so I thought I don't need it but I will need it so I might as well buy it whilst it's on offer. Because but I need it, mine the, basically the like... Normal, the normal size one is £5. I know, I saw that in Boots, yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, so I thought, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy this one. I'm going to buy this one. I'm going to buy that one. I'm going to buy this one. Gonna buy this one. this buy actually one. is a good drum beat. No, flop. So, the next thing I picked up is what right. right. Right, before I start this, I don't really use wet wipes. Not, I haven't done for months now. But, those lazy days when you Look literally... Look at me. Oh, it's a spot, don't worry. Just about to tell me I have lipstick on top of my lip. Lipstick on top of my lip, but it's a spot. So, okay. so I don't really use wet wipes that much. But, go, wet wipes. <laughs> I don't really anymore. use wet wipes. But when on those lazy days, like nights out or something, when you just literally... And you get home too late to be bothered to just wash your face properly, basically. Yeah. I just like to use the Garnier Micellar Extra Gentle Cleansing Wipes. And these are bomb diggity. Where's bomb diggity from? Go. Bring it on all or nothing. Yeah, so, if you haven't watched that movie, go and watch it. It's freaking Just charted. forget about this video. Just go and watch it. Yeah, just click out the video. Go just and watch it. Please, please don't go. Please don't go. These are, like, amazing, and they're so soft. They don't break me out, which is one bad thing that usually happens. They're amazing. So, yeah, pick these up if you like me. I've never me. tried them. No. I haven't. You haven't tried these? No. Freaking out. You... You can try one after this video if you want to. Thanks. The thing that I picked up. The, for me, the only thing that I actually tend to use now is um, bronzer and a beauty blender. So a bronzer and foundation that I love the most. So every now and then I treat myself to the same bronze, uh, bronzing brush and the same That's a blush blender. brush. But I use this as a bronzer brush. Oh, I use, I've use. i got that and I use it as a blush brush. You don't for wear me, a blusher. For me, this is too big as a, bl a blush brush. So my favourite brand ever in drugstore is Soap and Glory. I am obsessed. There's not probably hardly anything that I don't already have. But so I picked up three new things that I have had before, but I wanted to get some of them are new. So the first thing is the Daily Soothe, and it's a a bar float which you scoop it up. Sorry, I'm so bad at explaining. So you scoop some out, put it in your bath. Give it a swell and it makes your bath all bubbles. I, I actually feel like that. I was zoned out and I was just listening to you guys. Ooh! Mm. <laughs> it just it. exploded. Oh, it smells like typical soap and glory. It smells incredible. The next thing I picked up was the Sugar Crush Body Oil. Oh, I have that. If you Oil. have lotion, if oh, you have, have not smelled this, well, small version. you need to smell it. It's incredible. I love this scent. So much. I have it in the scrub, and I'm just lip. I really have. I have the other version lotion of this too. It smells incredible. Mm. I love it so much. It's my favourite scent in the whole entire world. And let me just tell you what the scent is. It's basically fr freshly squeezed sweet lemon fragrance. And frick, I haven't smelt it. it. Go and smell it. It's incredible. 
And the last thing that I got in the free for two is some hand food. I have about six of them in my drawer, the little versions, which I obviously don't use and I obviously don't need another one. But I just thought if I bleed this out, I'll be more, more likely to reach for it because I like the fact that it's a pump. And they're, I don't know, because they did have the squirty big version of this, which was a lot cheaper. But for some reason, I was like, let me just get this because if I leave it on my side, You'll when I have it. crusty well, you hands. you had it in your bathroom after you washed your hands. Dry and then put some green. Yeah, no, I like to leave this in my room on my desk. I feel like it, it's, it's nice, it's pretty and white as well. Oh, and that one smells so nice. So the same, so from Glory. Yeah. So yeah, and I picked up that too. Okay, so I picked myself up some hand, hand? You made me say hand. I picked up myself some hair stuff. So I like the Lee Stafford, so I thought, hmm. Free for two, I'm gonna try it. Oh, is that Lee Stafford? No, it's not even free for two, they were half price. Yeah, Lee Stafford. Wow, half price. So, I thought I would get the coconut mask. Um, it's meant to make your hair feel silky and bring your hair back to life. And my hair just doesn't seem in great condition at the moment. It smells like coconut. Guys, Let's just guys. Look at, hopefully it's gonna be a good mask. You know how I feel about coconut and that lovely, is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. So I got that. So I picked up the Coca Loco hair oil, which I thought sounded good as well. So this is, it's meant to make your hair glossy and healthy looking and smell delicious like coconutty. It says on hair. I'm gonna so love that. I think I'll put this in my hair after I've washed my hair or maybe just, maybe after I've straightened my hair a little bit, just if it's as static or whatever. You know, I have the spray, the hairspray to it, like makes your hair just a bit more curl, curly. I think it's for curls, yeah. which is the same brand as that. It's yeah. really good as well. So I thought I'd try this. So. I really hope this is going to be good. So, talking about hair, I noticed that L'Oreal had a new hair shampoo and conditioner. I think it's new, because I've never seen it before. And talking about coconut, I was like, whoa, wait a minute. So what I'm about to show you is my favourite, favourite Holy Grail shampoo and conditioner. So you know, I must have been like, wait, I'll show you, hold on. I actually have the original version of the shampoo and conditioner. And then when I saw this, I was like, what? So it's this and this. And basically, it's this is so good for your hair, I swear. Every time I use this, my hair feels amazing, along with the oil. Um, you can also get the oil version of this, which I have in the original. Then when I saw this um, so collection... So that one's got coconut in it? Yeah, when I saw this collection, I was like, walking past it as I do, thinking, shall I get some more? Then I looked up close and I was like, coconut? What? Guys, I have an obsession. Let me Oh my god, I haven't even smelt them. It's like sweet coconut. Oh my god. It's nice. It smells so nice. Silicone free. Oh my god, I love this so much. No way down, irresistible softness, instant detangling. Normal to dry. That sounds hair. nice. Let me know Amazing, how you Amazing, right? So I picked up these, and obviously I have the oil. So, obvs, I bought the oil to, for it as well. And this is coconut too. And this smells really good. I've smelt this already in the shop. It smells Amazing. Obviously, I'm gonna wait till my other one finishes, and then I'm gonna obviously go on to this one. But I cannot wait. Your hair's gonna be smelling like coconut. So is yours, girl. So is yours. If I ain't got. Oh, you've got the coconut. Oh, got, oh, that's that's so what I mean. Right. Talking oh, about coconut. One time. So I bought myself another Fit Me Matting Paulus in 220. My go-to. I wear near enough every single day. Um, I love it so much. I wear this in Giorgio Armani. Like, I swap between the two. When my face feels a little bit more, like, broken out, I'll wear this. And when it feels, like, less broken out, I'll wear Giorgio Armani. But this is so good as a cheap foundation. And to me, it's, like, amazing. I would buy it even if it was more expensive. So I'm just happy it's not. So that, which I love. Also, I picked myself up some lip glosses and a lipstick. Actually, I bought one lip gloss, one lip soft matte, and then a metallic lip gloss from you actually really like the N nyx stuff don't you because yeah you've got quite i like a few bits yeah them. so i bought this really nice red color in amsterdam and i thought this would be really nice i love red lipsticks um i'm wearing one today this one's from Too faced the one we always wear so i thought do you know what i'm going to give it a go and try something different so i bought that one i also bought um a butter gloss which i really love i love wearing them and i got this one in fortune cookie i thought they look i think they look really nice with either a, a lip liner on its own or over a lipstick, so I love that as well, and they smell lovely. And then this one's new, and I thought, hmm, I love that. That looks amazing. It's got gloss on it. Yeah, 
Ooh, I love wearing it. disco ball, I think from L'Oreal, and this one reminds me of it so much, I thought, hmm, this one looks more pigmented as well when I swatched it on my hands, so I thought I'd give this one a go and see what I think of it. I don't know if it would be like a proper day-to-day -day one, actually it might be, I don't know, or if it would be like more of a special occasion, I'm not special too sure. Occasion so, look. Yeah, but I don't know, I just thought it was cool, like maybe when I go to like a little bit, I might be cool to put it on Aww. there, I don't know, but yeah. So I picked up three new lip glosses that I don't need because I don't go through my other one. Literally, I just stick with the same ones all the time. But yeah, I just wanted to try. They look really nice. Try this. I know. I'm. Oh, I want to try that. Can you I was try? about to say I'm excited. I'm to excited. Try it. I'm excited. Dude, that's mine. Can I? Can I try some? Yeah. Last thing I picked up was some pads. Fun. So if you know me and Delia, I mean, if you know me generally, I have. Drawers and drawers and drawers and drawers and drawers of skincare. Drawers? Of skincare. I have so much skincare that I've tried and tried and tried. Just to see because if you've seen me in person you'll probably notice that I've broken up like crazy. Like my skin's not in the best condition and I don't know why. And I will be starting antibiotics soon but I can't start them until I come back from holiday. So the last product that I'm hoping to maybe try, maybe that will be good, it's actually a Superdrug's own brand, and I usually wouldn't go for something like that, but it stood out to me because it literally just says a vitamin E really boldly, and I think maybe the, the collection is called Vitamin E, I'm not too sure, but every single one says Vitamin E, and it's literally just, this one is a gentle oatmeal exfoliator, rich in natural Vitamin E, and I think that sounds so good, it and it's 100% really natural, so I think I can't wait to try that. Alongside that, I also bought a nourishing night cream. Again, it's vitamin E, and it's meant to be really good. 20 hour, 24 hour nourish, nourishing sensation. Ooh, Nour nourish, nourishing, it's, nourishing. It's supposed to be very nourishing, yeah, and it's for normal to dry skin, again. Which I wouldn't say mine was dry, I'd say it was more oily, but anyways. Oh yeah. That seems really this good. This is what I'm most excited about. I think it'll be really good spraying this onto my beauty blender or just spraying it on my face anyway, like when I'm doing my cleansing. This is a hydrate mist. Again, rich in natural vitamin E. And I just think it'd be really good. I read the back and it sounds really interesting as well. Also picked up the Moisture Boost Facial Serum, which I think sounds really good. All of this says it's, um, it's, it's skin, no, defends the skin against environmental damage that's what this does mm. how cool is that again vitamin e and the last thing i thought i'd pick up which i have never tried or any in any other kind of skin product is a nourishing eye cream i thought you know what i'm 22 it's about time i tried it yeah i wanted to try it and see what it was like you need to start soon don't you better start in sooner Prevent than later it for when you're older exactly <laughs> So yeah, I'm excited to try those and I'll probably, if I think they're really good, I'll mention it in another video to let you know how I got on with those. But yeah, I'm excited. Also, I like the, the fact that they don't smell like perfume, so it just makes me feel like they're very natural. So that's everything we picked up um, in today's haul. If you enjoyed this video and you like these sort of videos, then give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments down, oh my god, we're not doing our traditional thing. Anyway, we'll do it the next time. If you have any comments, then leave them down below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our channel and we shall see you in our next video. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Bye. Bye.